Welcome back to Most Buffalo. We know there's a lot of running around going on right now, and if you need a last minute recipe idea for a holiday party, we have you covered. So on Friday here on Most Buffalo, we introduced you to a local food blogger, cookbook author, and photographer, Rebecca Lindemood, or Foodie with Family. And she was good enough to take some time to share some really easy, crowd-pleasing recipes with us. Today, we're making snacks. Snacks! Yay! I'm snacks. so excited. This is so easy, it looks amazing, and we're gonna show everybody how to make it. What do we got? Today we are making Supreme Pizza Party Bread. <laughs> I like it already. Yeah, this <laughs> is one of the easiest ways to make something impressive looking when you're entertaining, and it's almost guaranteed to disappear before anything else on the table. Nice, what do we do? Yeah. What do we need? So we start with a loaf of bread. You can actually, product plug, you can use any of the one hour breads in my cookbook. You mm -hmm. can use the Italian semolina bread, or you can use a loaf of Italian bread from your favorite bakery. Okay. So what we're gonna do to begin with, um, you can see, I feel like a magician here. See, there's nothing under my loaf of bread. Uh, you're going to cut a grid into this bread without cutting through the bottom. Okay. So what we're going to make is going to look a little bit like a bread hedgehog filled with cheese, pepperoni, Vegetables. We're in bread hedgehogs. All right, all right. Change the bread, name of this. Okay. Bread hedgehog. I can't even say it. Bread, bread hedgehog. hedgehog. There we go. And you don't have to be over scientific about this. So basically, just cutting a grid. You don't want to yeah. cut all the way through. So we are fluffing our bread. All right. And what you're looking to do here is just make a little space for all of the goodies that we're going to stuff in there. Nice. Because nothing says festive like bread stuffed with goodies. Yay. Okay. What's next? All right, so once we get it cut, then we just put it on some foil. We're gonna give it a little little olive oil bath. So we're going to do a combination of grated mozzarella cheese, okay. chives or green onions, some chopped bell pepper. Okay. Let's stuff this bread. This is really pretty easy. If you're looking to make this for a party, you can wrap it up to this state, have it ready to go and pop it in your fridge a day ahead of time. Oh, great. And then the day of the party, you pop it in about a half an hour before you're ready to go and it comes out of the oven melty and beautiful. Nice, and it's a 350 degree oven? For 30 minutes. 30 minutes, got it. Exactly. It's ready. It's ready. We get to unveil, I'm excited. That's great, and this was very easy to do. It is. And so you just serve it with a little marinara on the yeah. side? you can put whatever you like in this. You can put in olives, you can put in feta, spinach. For you, madam. Oh, thanks. I'm just gonna dive right in. Mm. It's really good. Kids love it, adults love it. And it's great for when you have that big crowd and, yeah. you, and you can still hang out with your friends Absolutely, and your you can pop this in the oven when everybody's walking in and say your hellos and half an hour later you have a snack that everybody's gonna love. Delicious, thank you for showing us how to make this and of thank course you. all the recipes can be found on your blog. Yes, foodiewithfamily.com. And the best part is there's more to come tomorrow as well because you're gonna show us how to make a cocktail that'll be great with this. Absolutely. We'll do a cocktail with a mocktail variation and everybody's going to be happy. Awesome. More to come tomorrow. Cheers. And it's so great, Maria, because you could do a sweet version of that as well. If you want to put cinnamon sugar or whatever. Oh, yeah. So yeah, I mean, it's a, it's great. Bread, cheese, and olives. I mean, how I'm can in. you go wrong? Yeah. Right. Delish. Yeah, real good combination.